Hey our sneakers, um, we're going to be looking at another, uh, another pickup today, another shoe that I got. I got these two days ago from a thrift store. These are the Nike Oceanas. These are really special because they're from 1983. So these, are, these aren't the originals, the originals, but I think they're technically originals because they didn't retro. They just kept coming out for a little while. Um, so Nike Oceanas, as I said, navy blue, white. They're cream colored now, but I'm fairly sure that when these came out, this was white, you know, bright white. These are a really nice running shoe. I really like them. I saw them in the in the shoe section of the thrift store, and I picked them up. I thought they were Nike Cortezes, but they're Oceanas. <laughs> um, the only Nike running shoes from that era that I know of are the pre-Montreals, the Cortezes, and the Pegasuses, and then now I learned about the Oceanas. So I just wanted to show these to you. Really interesting shoe. Talk about them a bit. Talk about, you know, how I cleaned them up. I cleaned these up a bit, not a whole lot. They weren't too dirty, you know, considering they're 30 years old. They're actually in pretty good condition. And then um, I wanted to compare them to a newer retro model, the pre Montreals, and just see what the difference is between the retro and the older shoe is. Of course, they're not the same shoe as I just said. These are the, the pre Montreals and the retro, and these are the Oshinas, but just, you know. They're similar shoes, similar enough, I think, that they can be compared. Um, so there's suede right here. It's a really nice suede. Very soft, very, you know, you can pet it. <laughs> I like to pet suede. Nylon. It's pretty thick. Leather. This is a nice thick cut of leather. The foam midsole. Gum rubber outsole. Those are Nike swooshes, if you can't see what they are. Those are little swooshes. I thought that was cool. Suede on the back. Leather on the back, leather sock liner right here, and collar, you know, and then nylon tongue right here. So when I picked these up, I knew they were old for, for two reasons. One, the size is printed on the sock liner, the, the collar, the ankle collar, and then they're also made in Korea. I don't know if you can see that. Um, trying to make it focus made in the Republic of Korea Nike used to make their shoes in Korea um, when they first started out up until the up until the um, the mid 90s I think they switched over to China Vietnam and um, what is it Indonesia exclusively that's where they started Korea got too expensive you know higher higher wages for the workers all that so they switched over to the other countries. So those were the two things that gave it away that they were old, and that's why I wanted them. And then I thought this was the serial number, but another Reddit user pointed out that that's the um, the production date. They always put the dates on the night. They still do. If you look at the tag in the newer ones, you can find the dates. So 1983, September 11th. I don't know what the TY stands for. I'm guessing that's the code for the factory that they were produced at, but that's just my guess. Um, I'm going to get into how I clean them up. So I have this little suede care kit. I have an eraser and then this brush. These are very firm, stiff bristles. I got this at a grocery store. It came in a little plastic um, package. Just suede care kit. You can find it at CVS, um, any grocery store, Shoppers, Walgreens. Uh, Walgreens is a pharmacy, but um, Shoppers, Food Line, um, Giant, uh, Publix. I don't know what's in your area, but I'm sure they have something. CVS, Walgreens, any pharmacy really. You should be able to find this. Shoelaces, shoe polish. And then this, this little box, and then this brush, and another one came in the box, in this box. So, this is a soft, softer bristles. And then I also use saddle soap. You can get saddle soap at, uh, at the grocery store. That's where I got this at. I got this with this. So to clean them up, I got the eraser. There was a little bit of dirt on the on the mud guard part, the toe box. I erased that because you can't get suede wet. You know, you're gonna mess up the suede, but you can get it wet. And then I brushed off the eraser shavings, and then I raised the nap. The naps, the little the little fibers, in the um, in the suede, those little hairs, those little fibers. That's what's known as the nap. And then um, after I raised it with a stiff brush, I brushed it again with the softer bristles. And I repeated that all over the suede, right here on the eyelets, 
right here on the mud guard, right here on the heel. And then for the leather, I use the saddle soap. This is really old, so I mean it's all in pieces. It came in a little bar, just like a bar of soap would. So I got that, got it all lathered up on the leather, on the, um, the heel tab, inside on the ankle collar. Just washed it and then dried it. <laughs> and the leather, uh, some dirt came off the leather, but not a lot. As I said, they weren't that dirty, but some dirt did come off the leather. And then for the laces, I'm positive that these are the original laces. They look like the laces that are featured in the pictures of the original shoes online. So I'm guessing that these are the original laces. And for the laces, I got a plastic cup, old plastic cup. I got some detergent and I got some bleach. I mixed it all up and then I just put the laces in there, stirred them around, and I let them sit. They soaked for two or three hours. And then, um, I mean, that got the laces really white. They're very white compared to the swoosh and the heel tab and the midsole. They're almost as white as these. So, I mean, if you look at that, that is pretty white. These are new laces. These have only been on the shoes for like three months. I wore these today. That's why I have them out. And then uh, on the sole, I scrubbed them. I got a toothbrush. I scrubbed them a bit, got a little bit of soap. I didn't want to scrub too much because I didn't want to risk uh, hitting the suede with a wet brush because, as I said, that's going to mess up the suede. And then afterwards, I got some uh, spray. I have this spray. I picked this up at the grocery store, too. It's a uh, Protect All Kiwi. They also make the brush. Kiwi makes the brush, too. Just spray it on there. It, uh, it's like Rain-X for, your, for suede, for canvas, for leather. It... Um, the water beads up on the shoe so it doesn't get into the suede and mess it up. It's really for suede and for canvas so it doesn't seep in. Nylon's pretty waterproof, nylon's waterproof, and then leather's waterproof. So I did that, and I mean, the shoes look pretty great. They look very, very nice. Laces, white. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to compare them to the, uh, the retros, the pre-Montreal retros. I got these at uh, Urban Outfitters a while ago. I don't know where you can buy them now, eBay maybe. I haven't seen them at any other store. This is a vintage inspired box. So I think the boxes back then were a lot smaller. So I'm guessing that these came in a box similar to this box. It just says there Nike built um, products for athletes to their specifications. Like the LeBron tag built to the specific, uh, specifications of LeBron. So, let me get these in there. <laughs> there. Real suede, synthetic suede. The nylon's pretty, pretty similar. It's pretty much the same thickness. This is a thick cut of leather. Swoosh is very thick cut. This is thin pleather, very thin paper thin. Mesh tongue, that's nothing new. <laughs> um, not mesh, what am I saying? Uh, nylon tongue, nylon tongue, nylon tongue, same thing. This has a, you know, inspired by the vintage tags, so it's not exactly the same, but they're not the same shoe. <laughs> then inside here, this leather, this synthetic too. This is very flimsy, the heel, very flimsy. This is very stiff. So I mean these are tough shoes. These are these are definitely tough shoes. Definitely very strong. They've lasted 30 years. Still very good condition. No separation. No nothing. <laughs> the leather's still very nice. It's it's scuff, like very minor scuffs, I think. Right there, you can't even really notice that, but it's very minorly scuffed. Held up very well. Suede looked very great after a brushing. After I brushed it all out, it looks very good. Color still very good, hasn't faded. Leather, as I said, very nice. Firm. Yeah, so these are the these are the Nike Oceanas from 1983. Second year they were out. Very nice shoe. Um these are a nine and a half. I wear twelve and eleven and a half. These are twelve, those are twelve. 
But I wanted these because, as I said, they're old, historic, classic, vintage, whatever you want to call it. Um, I mean, they're, just, they're a really cool piece of history to me. A lot of people don't get sneakerheads. You know, they're just shoes. Another pair of kicks, really. <laughs> but these are, you know, a piece of Nike history. And I don't think you can deny that Nike was very influential, still is very influential, and innovative. It still is innovative, you know. And they really left a mark on sports, on business, on fashion, technology for shoes, for athletes, to better perform, stay better protected, keep their feet comfortable, stay cool with those dry fit shirts and all that. <laughs> so it's a very cool shoe to me. I really like these. I think I'm going to hold on to these for a bit. I'm probably going to sell them. I want someone to enjoy these. I want someone to wear these. I want someone to to take these out for a walk, you know, wear these to some to some sneaker convention. <laughs> I don't know. Just share these with others because at nine and a half, they're way too small for my feet. I squeezed into them and they really hurt my feet after about a minute of wearing them. So I want these to go to someone that can wear them. So I'm probably going to sell these in a, in a little while, but I'm probably going to hold on to them now and just look at them every now and then because they're such a cool shoe to me at least. So, yeah, Nike Oceanas. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a little bit about the shoe. Nike Oceanas, released in 1982. Very cool shoe. Piece of Nike history. Thanks, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.